I'm Tom Mann, the producer and the host of the Emergency FD Storyline podcast. I want to thank you for listening. If you don't mind, can I take a few minutes of your time to talk about some great things coming up for the podcast? As you might have noticed, there's been a pause in the production of the podcast, and there is a reason. It's to stop and evaluate the how and the why. Now, what I mean is, it's been a good time to retool, refocus, and even rebrand. 2023 was a big year for me. Let me share a little bit about that. I co-host another podcast called Brave Conversations with my Aussie co-host, and that was picked up by a major podcast network, and uh, we did a full season. At the same time, while that was going on, the Emergency FD Storyline podcast received a major award. What was so special is that the award was for first place for Best Multimedia Storytelling, And it was from the IAFF, the International Association of Firefighters. That was a really great privilege. Also in 2023, I had the chance to share the story of the Collierville Germantown Fire Department's active shooter incident. took place in Collierville, Tennessee, and that was a privilege. It was a great story. In all of this, I have learned something to focus on purpose. Originally, I kind of thought my role with this podcast was to draw the general public in the world of fire and EMS by telling your stories. And we do that. But over and over again, I'm told by first responders these phrases. That was very powerful, talking about a podcast. Or, I really needed to hear that. I'm glad to know that I'm not alone. Or, the biggie for me is I was ready to hang it up. And they're not always talking about their careers, but their lives. Think about that. So that's a powerful place to be. And again, it's about mission and purpose and what I do. Podcasting is narrow casting. It's not broadcasting like I've done for years in radio and TV. It's reaching a unique select audience. And if you stick to purpose and not profit, the upside is that you can make a difference. The downside, it can be challenging because when your guests use words like trauma, shooting, mass casualty, active shooter, burning, suicide, PTSD, and... Even I found the two words first responder can be a dirty word, depending on what is going on in the news and which way the wind blows, if you know what I'm talking about. Well, such words and conversations can get you shadow banned and throttled back no matter what you do. I want to do more, but it takes money and time. So here's how you can help. Share the podcast on social media, even this video. Let people know about the podcast. Spread the word. Like, share, and subscribe. These things make a big difference when it comes to social media and for podcasting. Also, here's something big we started doing. Buy me a pizza. That's right. Buy me a pizza. Buy me a slice of pizza. You see, I'm not into coffee. I'm not really into tea. But it is a way for us to crowdfund this podcast. So look for the Secure Support tab on our website at emergencyfd.com or emergencyfdstoryline.com. You can click on the word support the show in our podcast notes or look for a heart button on our podcast website. Every time you listen, you can give any amount and buy me a slice of pizza or buy me a pizza. Or someone did the other day, they bought me a couple of pizzas and it makes a big difference. Another way you could help is become a patron like my friend, retired Memphis firefighter George Langston. He's been featured on our podcast sharing his story. Now, he's a realtor in his retirement, and when he sells a house, he gives a certain amount of money to support the podcast. He's been doing this faithfully. And in doing so, he's a patron. His name is mentioned at the beginning of a certain podcast he selected, and that mention is an advertisement expense for his business. And you can do this as an individual, or you can do this as a business. Another thing you can do, you can become an annual sponsor. Maybe you even know someone who can be an annual sponsor. And with this, being an annual sponsor, you get an ad placed in the middle of every single podcast, past, present, and future podcast. What it does, it helps us underwrite a full podcast season. It's an annual fee. And again, this can be an ad for your business, or even if you want to do this, just a message of your choosing, supporting first responders, the firefighters, the paramedics, the EMTs. I do want to remind you, we have more podcasts in production right now, and in the coming weeks, more episodes will be released. Until then, I encourage you to listen to some of the past podcasts you might have missed or listen again, or 
listen for the first time at our website at emergencyfd.com or emergencyfdstoryline.com or on various podcast networks like Google, Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, YouTube, and the list goes on. So thanks again for listening and thanks for your support and thanks for your time.